Howdy Dooski guys, it's Fail34 back with another episode of Super Science. With Supergirl returning but this time to the CW, we thought why not look at the abilities of Kryptonians such as Supergirl and Superman. Now this episode will be less explaining the actual real life science behind Kryptonians and more so explaining the potential secret Kryptonian abilities such as super strength or flight. Now let's get into some of the Super Science. Now, at first glance, many people may get the idea that, look, Superman is strong, getting his powers from the yellow sun rays that he absorbs. But the truth is that physically and essentially, he's the same as a regular human being, but just with the height and the build of an NFL linebacker. We see this with the solar flare power and exposure to red sunlight, both which render Superman with the physical abilities of that of an average human male. This supports a theory that Superman, instead of physically being strong via muscles, is just a telekinetic. More specifically, Superman's a limited tactile telekinetic using what's called psionic Strength. This is how Superman is able to carry objects that are much heavier and larger than himself without the object crumbling under its own weight. This also explains why Superman would lose his abilities when under red light or after his solar flare ability. If a skeletal muscle system truly supported superhuman strength, then his strength and durability would be consistent and not dissipate under red solar conditions or after the solar flare ability. Evidence of this is given to comic book readers with Superboy, the half Kryptonian clone of Superman. His powers are based around his tactile telekinesis inherited from his Kryptonian genetics. Now this gives an interesting answer to the question. Basically, Superman is as strong as his mind allows him to be after absorbing enough yellow sunlight that he needs for energy. This also makes the argument that exposure to yellow solar radiation simply causes a mutation in Kryptonian genetics that manifests into a limited telekinetic field, most likely in the form of heightened electromagnetic field since all living things are surrounded by one. The manipulation of this enhanced magnetic field would allow him to have abilities such as X-ray vision, gamma ray vision, seen in the new 52 Superman Unchained, and heat vision. If based in telekinesis, it would also also be an easy explanation for flight and the solar flare power would be understood as the Kryptonians simply releasing all stored energy from their enhanced electromagnetic field which would be why afterwards their electromagnetic field is depleted resulting in human levels of strength, durability, and more. And that is it for this episode of Super Science. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Hybrid Network if you have not already. Also feel free to check out my channel Fable34 in the description down below. We thought this would be an interesting topic since Supergirl comes around in a week or so. As always, I'm your host Fable34. This is Super Science and you just got educated. I'll see you guys next time.